Hey everybody and welcome to part 8 of this Platinum Let's Play. On the last episode we went through Eterna City, uh, we also looked, found Cyrus again, and we also um, went through Mount Coronet, sort of, and looked at some new Pokemon. Um, although on this episode we're going to be taking on the Eterna City Gym. I did decide I wanted to cut this up a bit, so uh, yeah. Okay, so the gym has changed quite a lot in um, from the transition from Diamond and Pearl to Platinum. Um, in Diamond and Pearl you have to hunt for the trainers, whereas in um, Platinum you have a bit of a puzzle. You must take on each trainer to, uh, to find the gym leader though. Welcome! Without further ado, let's go! Straight in. I like that. Okay, so last ch Caroline has a Cheruby. Level 17. Roadhouse is going to be used for the entirety of this gym. And she also has a Roselia. Level 17. Great level 23, awesome. Trying to learn Whirlwind. Don't care, basically forces the opponent to switch out. The clock will turn now. The gym's floor clock. You can walk on its hands. That's how you get to the next trainer. So the clock will turn. And will eventually, after too much turning, lead you to the next trainer. Come over here and defeat this girl. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Okay, so Roma Lady Jenna has a Badu level 15. Which I will swiftly take out with a wing attack. Also has a another Badu. Level 16. And a third Badu at level 17. Another wing attack coming its way. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. How depressing. Every time you beat a trainer, the floral clock moves. The fountain also stops if I lose. It's so you can go to the Pokemon Center during your challenge. Well, that's thoughtful. And the fountain will stop. The fountain's water level dropped. It's impossible to walk across the fountain now. So yeah, if you do need to go back to the Pokemon Center, you can go back through there. You can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. So that means you can't win either then, so what's the point of this battle? Anyway, Aroma Lady Angela has a Roselia, level 19. Which will be taken out with a swift wing attack. Tons of experience. We're at level 24, awesome. Just like your inability to conceal your abundant skill. Ha! Huh. The thrall cock moves and time flows. There's only our gym leader left. Come on, don't be afraid. And the fountain level will drop again, so you can go back to the Pokemon Center. Um, I'm not particularly worried about this gym. The grass type gym is never really a problem for me, but um, anyway. So do make sure you're all fully healed and what have you, and you're all prepared for this. You kept me waiting. 
I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. So nice entry scene in Platinum. This is going to be really weird because she leads with different Pokemon in uh, each game. Anyway, um, in the Platinum, she leads with a Turt Twig, level 20, Grass type with the ability Overgrow, with the moves Grass Knot, Razor Leaf, Sunny Day, and Reflect. In Diamond and Pearl, she leads with a Cheruby, level 19, Grass type with the ability Chlorophyll, with the moves Grass Knot, Leech Seed, Safeguard, and Growth. She's now going for a Cherim. Um, basically in Platinum she's evolved her Cheruby. Uh, and Cherim is now level 20, Grass type, with the ability Flower Gift. With the moves Grass Knot, Magical Leaf, Leech Seed and Safeguard. In Diamond and Pearl she has a Turtwig. Level 19, Grass type, with the ability Overgrow. Knowing the moves Grass Knot, Razor Leaf, Withdraw and Reflect. A slight moveset changes going on here. If um, that Turtwig in Platinum did manage to set up its sunny day, um, Cherim will now um, be in its sunshine form and um, it will be doing 50% uh, more, uh, more uh, damage with its special attacks. I think that's what that ability does. Anyway, so this is the star of her show, Roserade, the evolved form of uh, Roselia. Level 22, Grass Poison type with the ability Natural Cure, with the moves that Grass Knot, Magical Leaf, Poison Sting, and Stun Spore. Also has a Citrus Berry. And she has this same moveset, same level, regardless of the game. Oh, th by the way, I'm making this fight look easy, but this Roserade is tough. Seriously, that Magical Leaf is really, really strong. Um, Grass Knot does more damage depending on how heavy the Pokemon is. I doubt you'd be using it anyway, but do keep Onyx away from this, as well as Golem if you have one. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? Thank you. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a ma measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Which is the Forest Badge. With the Forest Badge, your Pokémon can use the Hidden Move Cut outside of battle. Now that you have two Gym Badges, all Pokémon you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else, it's a gift from me. This is TM86, which contains Grass Knot. That TM86 contains the move Grass Knot. It's one of my favourite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage this move will cause. So yeah. And now you can just go up and down. And head out. Okay, so I am going to heal just quickly. Uh, well, actually, though, can I pass through here? Oh, cool. So, as soon as you finish the gym, I guess you can just come through here. Anyway, but I am going to just talk to this guy quickly. Sean, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure at the Professor's behest. Sean, let me ask you, how many Pokémon have you met? Oh my, you've met 42 Pokémon! Wonderful! Yes, bravo! Professor Rowan should be delighted! Here is something for you. This is the Experience Share, which is quite useful for training new Pokémon. Uh, I just thought you can't come through here because you need the uh, bike, which you can't get until after you defeated Team Galactic. But you can get the Experience Share, um, but you must get the Gym Badge before you can. Anyway, I'm just going to run back just so that um, I can cover the old Chateau. Just because, why the heck not? There isn't much to cover, but Gardenia will be standing here. Hiya, were you intrigued by the rumours going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumours about Sinister Shadows too. I should go check it out myself, but going in there is... Well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. So since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm so scared. So, so good luck with your investigation. So she lets you know about a special ghost type Pokemon. Uh, how many Pokeballs do I have? That's okay, I guess. 
Anyway, so yeah, you do need to cut. Uh, I should teach cut to my Beedoof, actually. Okay, so. Let us teach cut to Beedoof. Again, you'll want to try and have an HM slave rather than just uh, teaching it to any Pokemon willy nilly. Okay, so that's the old chateau, but if I just quickly run through here while running into a Hoot Hoot. Anyway. Let's put Hopper up to the front, just because. Okay, so there's an ether here, and if you press A against the wall here, you can find the Insect Plate, which powers up Bug-type moves. There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Oh, God's sake, come on! I'm like one step away. Thank you, Badoo. I do not really need you, though. Let me get away. Thank you. Okay, so inside we go. So this is the old chateau. There is only one Pokemon in here, which is this guy, Ghastly. Um, I've already covered it, but yeah, that's the only Pokemon you can find in here, so get used to seeing it unless you use repels. Okay, so... Let me get through here, into this room. Um, okay, I thought I'm pretty. I'm always sure that one of these trash cans has a um, has an item in it, but it never does. <laughs> Hello, Ghastly, once again. Can't escape. What the hell? This is not good. Okay, so Curse cuts 50% of their health to drain 25% of yours each turn. Okay, so there's a rare candy here, which is kind of cool. Can I get to the other side without another Pokemon? Yay! Okay, so there's also a big pearl here, which can be sold for some money. Okay, so let's climb the stairs. There appears to be a gym statue in here, which is kind of weird. Anyway, you can find the old chateau's specialty here, which is the old Gatto, which is essentially just a rare full heal, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's head over to the other side. Uh, I always feel like there should be an item in here. Something so peculiar shouted, make off with the something, I don't know. The rest of the pages are blank. Well, that's kind of creepy. Hello again, Ghastly. I see you're at a higher level now. What have you been doing? Did you eat that rare candy? Oh, God. Yeah, this is quite a dangerous combination. Curse and mean lot. Mean look, sorry. As it's doing. Hopefully I can kill it with this bubble beam. I hope I used bubble beam. I did, good. So if it does use mean look, you absolutely must kill it because otherwise a curse is coming your way. And while curse isn't too threatening, if you can't escape you're going to need to heal a lot. Anyway, um, now these rooms have some special significance um, in that um, they are the only place where you can catch a wild Gengar, but I think it's only in the after game. Um, now, I am actually going to be using a Ghastly. Um, I was just the reason why I wasn't using any repels was because I was trying to look for a male one because of the nickname I'm giving it. Um, I absolutely love Gengar. Um, I never really use it though. This is actually the first time I'm ever using it in any playthrough. Um, but I do love it. It's a great Pokemon. So hopefully I can catch this thing. And at level 17 as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I'm actually going to give this um, the name um, 
I'm actually going to give this the same name as one of my friends who likes Gengar a lot. Uh, which is why I was looking for a male one. So rather than just giving it a generic nickname, I'm actually going to call it after someone. And uh, I'm just going to quickly look at it. And I'm going to call it Ricky. Okay, so... Spite, Mean Look, Curse, Nightshade. It doesn't really learn any good moves um, until level 29 as a Ghastly and uh, 33 as a Gengar. But it's fine. Anyway, what I was saying is... I don't think it's until the after game, TM9 substitute there, um, but you can find uh, Wild Gengar here as well as Wild Haunter in here. Oh, that was creepy. Where did she come from? Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, you can find uh, those here, but again, I don't think it's till the after game. I, think, I don't know how many times I've actually said that now. What's that girl doing? That's kind of creepy. Anyway, uh, let's head to this this one. Yeah, okay, thank you. There is a dread plate here, which powers up dark type moves. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. This basically tells the story of the um, creation of Sinnoh. I guess I should use a repel now, huh? After catching my ghastly. I considered not bothering to catch Ghastly um, until much later in the game, but then I thought, eh, I'm just going to catch it now. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to put a repel up, wasn't I? Just because I would like to get through here nicely. Okay, so... Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I think... Okay, so apparently, you can actually do this now. Now, this is... Only I oh, didn't mean to do that. This is only in platinum in the pre-game. You can do this. Uh, oh, great! Both my Pokémon are weak to electric. Fantastic. Um, this is only available in the um, pre-game in platinum. It's available in the post-game afterwards. This is a Pokémon that you need to get the national decks in platinum. So do keep that in mind. Um, however, you do only need to see it. Did I just save already? I think I'm going to save again anyway. Okay, so... Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it will come out. Want to thump the TV? Sean, thump the TV set. Now this Pokemon has legendary theme music, but it is not a legendary Pokemon. Um, in Diamond and Pearl, it will be at level 15. In Platinum, it's at level 20. Rotom is an electric ghost type. Um, has good special attack, good speed, but uh, it kind of struggles everywhere else. Um, it's a decent Pokemon to use in game, actually. It's not incredible, but it's not that bad. Damn you for critical hit. didn't think I'd do that much damage. I was going to catch it, but actually I don't think I'd be bothered. Um, it can, I think it appears every day, um, so do keep that in mind. You can just take it on again. I was, I was just going to reset, but I can't be bothered. It is kind of difficult to catch anyway. It's not a legendary catch rate, but it's kind of tough. So yeah, that was Rotom. Rotom, whatever. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, I guess I should give um, my experience share to Ricky. Okay, so let us head through here and get to, back to Eterna City. Heal. Okay, so we caught a new Pokemon in this uh, episode. We took on a not really a legendary and we took on the Eterna Gym. Uh, on the next episode, I think we'll be taking out uh, Team Galactic and possibly progressing. 
hopefully, maybe. Um, I think I'm, I don't know, but I may train my ghastly off screen, maybe. I might just keep the experience share on it actually. In fact, yeah, I'll do that. So yeah, until then, see you next time guys.